What's going on guys? Chad here with Green Light Shooting. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking holsters, man. Concealed carry options. And uh, listen, you guys know that I've been working with crossbreed holsters for a long time. So everything here you're gonna see is going to come from crossbreed holsters. So take that for what you will. Uh, but just know that I've been in this game for a long time. I've tried a ton of different holsters, so many different holster brands. And this is genuinely the holster brand that I like most. It's what I find myself coming back to every time. So so I'm genuinely happy to be able to show off some of their newer options. So now that's out of the way, let's jump right in. I've got a couple different options for you here. First up, we're gonna talk about all Kydex. So if you're someone who just wants something super, super minimal, super, super, uh, you know, thin, and you don't want it getting in your way, you don't even really wanna think about your holster, I think this is the option for you. So this is actually made by N8 Tactical. Uh, Crossbreed Holsters does sell this on their website though. This is kind of your standard all Kydex holster. Uh, what I like about this is it is completely form fitting it is made specifically to the gun so this is a glock 19 uh, it works with threaded barrels obviously you can have suppressor height sights on here it is optic cut so if you can run an optic or no optic um, you can see just how thin and tight everything fits so again it's just it's just very very minimal um, you've got retention right here and then this one big option for you know you can really carry it anywhere but i think a holster like this is really best suited for appendix carry now if you like all kydex um, this is probably my favorite all kydex option so this is the crossbreed rogue holster uh, this one has obviously the extra mag pouch that is attached you can also detach that if you don't want to deal with it um, i did throw a claw on here you can throw a claw on pretty much any of the crossbreed holsters i would recommend running them across the board i always use one if you're not familiar with it the idea is if you can imagine carrying this on your body this grip tends to stick out from your body uh, this claw sits under your belt and then pulls the gun into your body so it just helps to sort of hide the printing that the grip might make. So I always am a big fan of having one of those. Uh, but I like this option for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a little bit larger footprint than something like this. So I just find it to be a little bit more comfortable. Uh, there's like a leather, soft leather piece in here, which allows this to sort of form fit to your body, especially if you're carrying this appendix, it kind of molds around your body a little bit. Um, so it's not quite so rigid and stiff and kind of, you know, hard to, hard to work around when you're sitting and standing up and moving a bunch throughout the day. Now, almost all crossbreed holsters come with different clips. You can change these out depending on how you want to wear them. I like these standard clips the most personally. You can adjust ride depth and cant really, really easily. And again, for the most part, it's a very minimal setup. It is very thin. It is made specifically to the firearm, so it fits very, very nicely. It'll fit with things like a threaded barrel. It is still optic cut, suppressor sight, heights, um, you know, all that good stuff that you have come to expect from a good holster. Uh, this is no different. So again, this is the Rogue holster. They do offer this in a bunch of different uh, prints, by the way. So if you're someone who wants to show a little bit of style with your uh, concealed carry options. I like the idea that they do have different options available for you. Now next up, we'll hop into my favorite holster, the holster that I come back to every day. It is by far the holster that I carry the most out of everything. But before we do, I do wanna jump into today's sponsor really quick. Today's video is brought to you by Andar. Now Andar is a company that makes wallets. They make a bunch of leather goods. And if you've been a fan of the channel for a long time, you know that uh, you know I, I keep up with my minimalist wallets. It's something that I've always liked. It's always, I've always liked to switch them out, but my goodness, as time has gone on, I have always, always come back to this. Now this is the Andar Pilot. For the longest time, you could not get this. I don't know what happened to it. It, it was on Amazon for a long time. Unbox Therapy did a video on it. They blew up in popularity and you just haven't been able to find them. Well, they are dropping a new stock of these. So this is the Andar Pilot. The idea is, see this button down here? Boom, you got access to all of your cards. The idea with this wallet is it is a nice, supple leather finish. You've got one spot for a frequent card right here. You've got spot for a cash here. Now this is actually my old one. I've had this one for many years, uh, but they've actually come out with a brand new version. And my goodness, is this thing beautiful. So as you can see on one side, you've got an opening flap for cash. On the other side, you've got one spot for a frequent used card but then where it really shines is on the bottom you'll see that switch now if you hit that switch boom all of your cards are presented to you but not only are they presented to you they're actually staggered so you can access your middle cards there are a lot of wallets out there that have like a pull tab that you can you can pull and, and have access to your cards that's nothing new where the pilot really makes its mark is that little switch man you hit that thing whoo First of all, it's very satisfying. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes I just sit there and I just pl play with my cards like, ooh. 
but the dope thing about this is how it actually staggers those cards, lets you get to the middle of them. The other thing is on the past versions, uh, if you didn't have enough cards in there, they could actually fall out. On the new version, um, there must be some sort of thing that keeps all the cards tight, regardless of how many cards you have in there, they won't fall out anymore. So I think that's a fantastic uh, upgrade. So anyways, genuinely, that is the wallet I've carried for years. I love this wallet. I'm so excited to upgrade to that new one. Uh, you guys can too with the new drop and for 25% off. You know anytime I can work with a company, I'm gonna try and hook you guys up with a discount code. So I got you guys 25% off one of these. Make sure to take advantage of this soon because I can promise you these won't stay in stock long. So the coupon code is PRIME, all capital letters. Click the link down below. If you click that link, it takes you to their website. That's how they track if I'm sending people to them or whatnot. So that helps me out. Uh, but then use that coupon code. That doesn't do anything for me, but it gets you 25% off. So make sure to use that. Go hit them up if you're interested. Hit them up soon, man, because these things are going to be gone quick. I can promise you that. And uh, anyways, let's jump back into the video. So as I said, the holster that I carry the most, it's been in a million videos. It's no surprise if you've been a fan of the channel, it is the Crossbreed Reckoning Holster. Now, the Reckoning Holster, the reason I like it is you're getting the, uh, you're getting the stability and, and the reliability of the Kydex pocket up here on the front. You know, you've got a full protection over your trigger guard. It holds its shape, but you're getting the comfort of a leather holster. So look at that, that backer is a very, very soft leather. So that actually kind of molds to your body over time. You can see it kind of bend. So now I'm getting the best of both worlds. I'm getting the rigidity, the stability, the comfort, the, the consistency, the reliability of that Kydex world, but I'm getting the comfort of the leather world. So this is by far my favorite uh, holster setup. I usually wear this uh, appendix. Again, it comes with a bunch of different clips. You can wear this outside the pant, inside, four o'clock, appendix, however you want. For me, I usually carry appendix, so this is how I've got it set up. Uh, you can adjust ride depth individually. You can adjust cant. Uh, you can twist things, whatever you want. I've got the claw on there, like I've already talked about. You can adjust retention right here, um, and yeah. It's just one of them holsters that's been a ride or die for me. I wear this thing 99% of the time. Uh, very, very clean draw, very, it's just everything that I want in a holster. That is the Crossbreed Reckoning. And as I mentioned, they do have a bunch of different styles. So if you're someone that wants to show a little bit of style, show, have a little bit of fun with your concealed carry holster, they do give you that option as well, which I think is super dope. I should also mention, so this is considered the Reckoning holster on their website. If you pair a mag holster to it, it becomes the Reckoning system. So just like this setup, they've got like a little leather piece and you can hook on a, a mag accomplice is what they call it. And now you've got basically that same setup as the Rogue Kydex holster, but with the, uh, I think I've got one. Hold on. So here is that Reckoning system setup uh, with the Founders leather, by the way, that's a really good look. So this fits a Glock 19, as you can see here, and then you could throw an extra mag in just like that. But as with the other ones, works with the threaded barrel, optic cut, combat cut here for a nice easy draw every single time. Huge, huge fan of this system. Now, next up is an interesting one. This one is uh, definitely geared more towards women, but I do know a lot of males that use this as well. So this is called their Liberty Band. Now. Rather than this being like a belly band, it's actually almost meant to replicate like a belt. So imagine like how uh, this holster sits on your belt in your waistline, but being able to bring that up to your belly. So if you're maybe wearing gym shorts or if you're a woman and you're out jogging and you've got like a flowy shirt on and like leggings or something like that, this gives you the ability to carry a gun in a holster that you already have and love. That is the key here. This is not a holster. I don't know if this thing will fit me. I think it's a small, but the idea is, so there's a uh, Velcro right here. Boom. So we set this up just like this. Oh gosh, this is small. Then you would take the holster and this is actually reinforced on top. So we would wear the holster just like that. And then, uh, you know, this is still a little bit loose. So you have this excess uh, strap right here, comes up over the top adds a little bit of security. And now obviously I'd be wearing this under my clothes or whatever, but just to give you the idea, uh, you have like an option to be able to carry with the holster you love, uh, but you know, not on your waistline. So a very, very cool option. And then lastly is the belly band because there's a lot of people that love belly band carry, man. Uh, but the thing that I don't love about belly band carry is 
if there's like a holster built into this band and it's just kind of a nylon thing, it's just, it doesn't really support the trigger guard that well. Something could get in there. I don't find it as safe as it could be. Um, you know, it kind of like flops around. I'm not a huge fan of it. I am, however, a big fan of how Crossbreed does their belly bands, and here is why. So, first of all, this is their new uh, modular belly band 2.0. On the inside, you can see it's got kind of this like neoprene breathable style. It feels really nice. Um, again, I'll throw this on the outside so you can see it. So, you throw it across your belly on your first uh, Velcro. There's this first piece of Velcro that locks in uh, the size around your waist. And then you would use this holster, which I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot the name of on their website, but it has Velcro on the back. Uh, it's, I think it's like a modular holster maybe is what it's called. So all Velcro, this fits an XDS. I don't have one of those with me right now, so we'll just pretend, but here we go. So you take this and you set that wherever you want on your body. Then you take the additional piece of this belly band holster, wrap it around and boom. So now, once again, you are using an actual holster. You're not using the belly band like nylon as the holster. You've got a hard Kydex shell here that is fully encapsulating the trigger guard, keeping everything safe. And there's actual positive retention in this thing holding the gun. And then when it's on your body, it's not flopping around because you have an additional piece of security wrapping up over it and locking it in place. So again, some people that don't wanna be carrying a firearm on their waist for whatever reason, this gives them another option. This band is like, I like how wide it is and how soft it is and flexible. It is very, very comfortable to wear all day. And, uh, it just gives you another option, you know? This thing is dope, by the way, because of the hard Velcro, you can get like a soft piece of Velcro and put it in your purse, in your backpack and, and wherever. And then that way, you know, you've got a gun in here, stick it in your purse and it's actually like, it's not, you know, falling around in your purse or whatever. It's actually stuck in one place. It is holding the gun, it's trigger guard is safe. And then when you want to drop the purse off at home and go for a run, you just take this entire holster out, throw on the belly band, boom. Now you've got it on your person. Same holster, same security. I'm a big fan of that. So anyways, that is a kind of a rundown of Crossbreed's newer holsters. And and I hope you got something out of it, man. Obviously the world is a little bit crazy right now. So, uh, you know, I'm a big advocate obviously for concealed carrying. So if you're going to do so, do so well-informed, do so responsibly. And uh, if you are interested in a Crossbreed holster, use code GLS10 on their website to get 10% off. That code is down in the description below. Make sure to hit up Andar, grab yourself a pilot wallet for 25% off while this campaign runs. That information is down in the description below as well. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time on Green Light Shooting. Peace out.